Financial experts say allowing first home buyers to raid their superannuation for a deposit could do more harm than good. They're warning it could damage the super system without doing much to make houses more affordable. Here's finance correspondent Philip Lasker. Accessing super to help first home buyers purchase a home, the affordability plan that won't improve affordability, according to the experts. Making it easier for people to access additional financing for housing will increase demand and will put upper pressure on prices. It's a slippery slope which threatens to undermine the integrity of Australia's superannuation system. Whenever you take one part of money out of super for housing, then we're going to say, well, why can't I take some money out for medical costs? Why can't I take some money out for the education of my children? So where does it end? Mercer Australia says the average person under 30 has a maximum superannuation balance of $50,000. A 20% deposit, which avoids the added cost of mortgage insurance, is at least $120,000 in the big cities. So there's still a significant shortfall of $70,000 needed. The Grattan Institute says $50,000 foregone in superannuation would leave retirees worse off to the tune of $120,000 after 30 years. The same $50,000 invested in housing is estimated to rise by around $50,000 over 30 years, so the retirees would be making a net loss of $70,000. And we're trying to get these silver bullets that are going to be short-term fixes, and they're not going to happen. Super savings are used for house purchases in Singapore, but there's a major difference. In Singapore, the total contribution rate being put into savings by the employer and employee is a big 37% of your earnings. It looks like the government will have to look elsewhere. Philip Lasker, ABC News.